Hello and welcome to this mathematics training DVD brought to you by 3D Buzz. My name is Steve Twist and I'm going to be your instructor throughout this training series. This DVD, focusing on trigonometry, is the second in a series of DVDs covering mathematical theories and techniques that I believe are essential knowledge for anyone who works in computer graphics or programming. It is going to build on the topics covered in Volume 1 of this series where we looked at analytic geometry. So what is trigonometry? Well, metri refers to measurement and trigon refers to three-sided polygons. Thus, trigonometry is all about the measurement of triangles. In particular, the measurement of angles within a triangle is fundamental to trigonometry. And so we start out this DVD by taking a look at the two most common angular measurement systems, degrees and radians. From there, we'll dive into the heart of trigonometry and take a look at the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine and tangent. Each function takes an angle as a parameter and generates a value that, as we'll see throughout the rest of this DVD, is of significant importance. Once we have defined the trigonometric functions of sine, cosine and tangent, we will see how these functions relate to right angled triangles, which allows us to find the lengths of edges or find certain angles within those triangles. However, whilst the trigonometric functions relate directly to right angled triangles, trigonometry can be extended to apply to any triangle, as we'll see when we use trigonometry to help us calculate the area of an arbitrary triangle. From there, we'll conclude this DVD by taking a look at some of the fundamental trigonometric identities, including the Pythagorean identity, complementary angle identities, negative angle identities, and compound angle identities. Of particular value to us are the sine rule and cosine rule. These trigonometric identities apply trigonometry to arbitrary triangles to enable us to find the length of unknown edges or the size of unknown angles in those triangles. These rules are incredibly powerful and extremely useful for solving problems in computer graphics and programming, and are definitely a highlight of this DVD. As with all the volumes in this training series, the theories and proofs presented in this DVD are loosely based on two maths textbooks that I found to be useful in my studies, combined with my own personal experiences of having worked with those theories to hopefully present them in a more intuitive and friendly manner. The first of those books is Mathematics for Computer Graphics, second edition, by John Vince. It's published by Springer, and its ISBN is 1-84628-034. Six. The second is Mathematical and Computer Programming Techniques for Computer Graphics by Peter Komnenos. It's also published by Springer and its ISBN is 1-85233-9020. Now whilst these maths textbooks do provide a wealth of very useful content, I don't necessarily recommend that you all rush out and go and purchase them right away. Being textbooks, they are quite formal and they are a little bit dry. Kaminas' book more so than Vince's book. So whilst they do contain a lot of useful information, my advice would be that with the essential topics that we're going to cover together in this lecture series under your belt, you should have no issue with continuing your studies through the wide variety of free mathematical information that's available on the internet. So if you simply search for the topic you're interested in, you're going to be able to find a wealth of information available out there, which should hopefully all make sense once you have a good grounding in the principles and theories. Now, obviously, there are different viewers who are going to be watching this lecture series, and they're all going to come to this lecture series having different backgrounds and different amounts of prior mathematical knowledge. And, of course, everything in mathematics builds on everything else. I have therefore chosen topics that I believe to be essential foundations for working in computer graphics and programming. So whilst I'm trying not to go over extremely basic ground, there is the possibility that some of the topics I cover you may be very familiar with. On the other hand, there's a possibility that some of the topics are going to require previous knowledge that you simply don't have. In the first case, the way this lecture series is structured with each topic encapsulated in its own video, you should be able to skip any topics that you feel you are already very comfortable with. In the second case, if you find yourself unable to follow any of my logical progression through one or more of the videos due to a lack of the required background knowledge, 
my advice would be to either have a search online for information, maybe covering the area that you're unsure on, and then watch the video again. Or if that doesn't help, simply visit 3dbuzz.com and post your questions and queries on the forums. Myself or many of our other knowledgeable and helpful members will be very happy to help you out, to point you in the right direction, and hopefully be able to aid you in your understanding of the topic. So before we get started with our first lecture on this DVD, I want to briefly explain the overall structure that most of the videos will take. Firstly, the topic is going to be introduced and I will discuss what is it that we're actually covering in that particular video. Next, I will often validate that choice of topic, letting you know why I believe that the topic is so important and useful, and if appropriate, how it applies to computer graphics and programming. After the introduction, we're going to move on to the theory of the topic, where the topic itself is taught and some example questions and scenarios are worked through. So that's the, the core of each video, each lecture. And then finally, at the end of the lecture, I will set questions for you, the viewer, to work through on your own. Now, after each question is set, you're going to have the opportunity to pause the video and attempt to answer the question yourself. Then once you unpause the video, you'll see me work through the answer on the whiteboard. Thus, that allows you to check your answer, or if you got stuck as you were trying to work out the answer on your own, it allows you to get assistance on whichever points you got stuck on. So that's going to get this introduction out of the way. So now that it is out the way, let's dive into the first lecture of this DVD. Thanks a lot for listening, everyone.